Hallo, Marie, hoe gaan het? Nee, Morgan, hoe lijkt dit nou aan jouw kant? Nee, rustig, kan ik klaar niet, dankie. Jo, 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 ek wens ons kan ook die goeie nies op kreeg by die vrystaat rond. <laughs> jy sê, jy wint waar jy wees vir die cheetahs, dan het ons COVID, dan het ons beserings, dan is ons uitbrou rakpie, dan is dit dit en dat, maar daar sal goeie nies kom, ons moet net vastbuit. Meneer, ja, wat is dit? Uitdak vir ons bykie goeie nies. Wat sê Ronel? As kies, Morgan sê, hy dag vir ons bykie goeie nies. <laughs> Enig iets, Morgan, al is dit, hy vir my koffie sal koop. Uh, ja, as die koffiewinkels eindelijk koop. Um, nee, nee, uh, volgens my inlichting is, gaan um, Rosco, vrijdag gaan sy spring ook bijgemaak. Dit is nice, ja. So, okay. nice. klein bykie goeie nies. Ja, wat. Ja, maar dit gesê, hy sal nooit speel nie, daar speel hy wacht, dit is goeie nies. Nee, Morgan, ons hou maar die media dop ook rondom ons deelname aan die Europese competities. So ons gaan maar kyk hier. Goedemorgen, Randy. Goedemorgen, meneer. Oké, okay, daar, mooi. Goed om te hoor. Ek is die so. Die <laughs> ander jaar ook nie. Hallo, Morgan. Hallo, Johan. Hi, Ronel. Hi, Randy. Hallo, Randy. Ons wacht net vir Sjaal, ek dink, um, dan, dan gaan ons alwees wat vandag deelneem. Oké. Okay. O, is nog iemand? Uh, anders? Nie, Sjaal strijd om nog nie. Sjaal, Fabian. Ja, wat sê? Ja, sê toch sê twee minuten so. So, wie speel die naweek nie? Ek dink die Puma's gek was. Ek ken nie die ander ons. Ronel, jy het seker gesien nie, ons wedstrijd in die Puma's later van jaar in augustus. Skuif nou van die 21ste na die 22ste. Dis is saterdag na sondag. Ek het gesien wanneer, ja. ons sal die, die aanpassing maak. As gevolg van die toets en dan die Shaaks, die 14e augustus, dis een week tevoor, een voorlaai, en Skuif na die 18e augustus toe. Is daai wedstrijd in Bloem of in Durban? Ek weet nie. Die ons het die, ons het die 14e augustus um, uh, nee, in Durban en dan die 18e het ons die nie Griek was in Bloemfontein, die woensdag. Okay. So, dan sê die 15e die sondag en dan die 18e, het word wild nie, so jy, is, jy het nie eerst, jy is veel die sondag en dan die woensdag. Ja. Jo. Ons moet seker vraag nie die wedstrijd die donderdag, want dan is daar weer saterdag seker een wedstrijd. Ja, dan is het weer een Puma wedstrijd die saterdag. So, hulle is allemaal op mekaar. Ja, yes, zwak. Ek kan nie dink nie. Sondag, woensdag, saterdag. Dan is daar seker weer een woensdag, nog nie. Het jy om na by jou daai? Ja, ek het om, hy begin op die, die 7e, dis is saterdag die WP, dan die volgende woensdag die nie leeuws, Dan weer die, dan nou die saterdag, die, die shocks, soos wat hy nou was, en dan die, weer die woensdag Griek was, weer die saterdag die Pumas, wat dan in die zondag toe skuif, en dan is die woensdag oop, en dan sê die bille die saterdag. So, augustus is wild. Moe gaan ons dit oorleef. Weer een virus op die langs die pad. <laughs> ok, seker tyd nie. Altyd. Nou, hier kom Sjaal strijd om nou. Hallo Sjaal. Dit vir Brende Nelwik inlaat. Hoi Brende. So, so ek denk is goed as ons kan begin. Um, allemaal is, gema- is allemaal gemakkelijk met Afrikaans. Um, ek gaan dan net vir meneer Verstaar vraag om dan um, vir ons die, taal, die, die vloer te open. Ja, baie dankie Ronel en baie welkom aan jouself Randy. Morgan Pick, Johan de Jaar, Charles Fabian, Charles Strijdom en Brendan Nel, baie dankie vir julle teenwoordigheid. So ek, uh, ek sal graag antwoorde gee en inleidend praat oor die wedstrijd van woensdag wat nou afgestel is. As het recht is, so Randy Ronel, moet ek daarmee begin. Dis recht so meneer kan voortgaan. Ja, ons het uh, teen Griek was gespeel, Ek dink nie, ons het so swak gespeel as wat die telling wees nie. Ek net die deur toe maak, net een oomlik. 
ek het so woord sien jy, ek het so woord sien jy, ek het wat aan die blad gaan, ek is jammer daar oor. So ons sou, ons het in die Griek was gespeel, ons het reeds 17 spelers uitgehaad, en beserings en ouders met nationale verplichtinge en so aan, maar uh, ons het gespeel, ons het nie so slecht gespeel, denk ek, as wat die telling weer gee nie, ons kon 2-3-3 vroeg gedruk het, dat ons nie recht gekryd, en toe die ding tegen ons gedraai. En toe kry ons nou, dins, maandagmiddag die nies, dat Cameron Dawson het positief getoets, vir die uh, COVID-19 pandemie. En uh, dit affecteer toe die hele span, ek moet ongelukkig net vir oomlik verspoon, en vrouw Ronel gaan al, dat ek net die oonkie uit so. Ronel, kan jy na my hoor? Ek hoor jou mooi, dankie Sjaal. Sorry Sjaal, ek het net my woord so enkie gaan bere, hy raak lastig, is iemand by die ek gewees, ons is nou werk nou van die huis af, op die oomlik as volg van die virus situasie. So ek wil net voorbegin, ons het tegen Griek was gespeel, ek denk die telling was een bykie kwaif tegen ons, ons kon beter gevaar het in die begin drie deur gekry het, maar toe die wedstrijd tegen ons gedraai. So tot nou toe die cheetah is nie goed vertoon nie. En is daar een kommer oor wat gaan aan, en ons bekyk dit baie deeglik. Sjaal, vijf en ek sien jou hand is op, daar op hierdie stadion. Maar, toe het ons tegen maandagmiddag gehoor dat Cameron Dawson positief getoets het vir die COVID-19 virus. Implikatie daarvan was dat die twee voorheer langsom, ook toe op moes onttrek en hy het ook in die bus langs mense gesit en kamers gedeel en allerhande dinge wat toen die effect naderhand een ripple effect gehad het dat ons laterhand nie een span oor het om te kon speel tegen die bille nie ons wil bitter graag speel ons borger was achter ons, ons bestuur was achter ons allemaal wil speel en toe moes ons ongelukkig onttrek ons het aan die einde van die dag het ons omtrend 19 span spelers oorgehaard om te speel, maar dan het jy te min voor hy en hakkers in die groep wat jy volgens player welfare en alles in die groep moet hee. Ja, as een groot terugslag weer eens, ons vat terugslag so een op die ander, maar ons is soos een gesoute bokser, ons staan op en ons boks terug. So, die wedstrijd tegen die bulle is dus af, ons eerste wedstrijd wat nou volgens tegen die Pumas volgende saterdag Ek nie 100% seker van die tyd nie, maar dit is een goeie tyd, saterdagmiddag, tegen die Pumas. Dit is in Nels Spruit nie waar, nie Sjaal? Nee, dit is al by ons oom. Vrijdag, dit is vrijdag, vrijdagmiddag vir die. Vrijdag, vrijdagmiddag, dankie, excuse, ek is die mekaar, want ons speel die, so die Pumas speel die 21ste augustus, maar ons speel nou die 22ste, vir die middag in Nels Spruit, en ek bykie warm gaan wees, En dan volg daar net die reeks wedstrijde, woensdag, zondag, woensdag, zondag. Het is nou nie meer saterdag, woensdag nie, Sjaal, maar saterdag, ach, zondag, woensdag wedstrijde, en het maak het net nog bykie moeiliker. Daar is uit die aard die reaksie by Griek was, die spelers wat tegen ons geskrim het, moet ook in termen van die Saru COVID regulaties onttrek, en dit sit Griek was ook onder druk. Griek was is even so gemakkelijk, ook om met ons maandag getoets in die eerste dinsdag nie, Daar is een bykie onzekerheid daar oor, die regulatie sê, jy moet na 48 uur van die wedstrijd toets, dit is maandag 2 uur wat ons gedoen het, maar wat die mense sê, dit is 2 daag, dan moet jy sondag en maandag nie toets nie, maar dinsdag toets. Maar dan is daar ander regulatie, wat sê, jy moet 51 uur voordat jy tegen die opponent te speel, moet jy jou spelers toets en die name deurgee aan die opponent om te sê, jy kan speel. 51 uur voor woensdag, maar recht in die bille, is maandag. Ons is eindelijk, ons is eindelijk die goed mekaar al voor kruis. Ek dink ons het gedoen wat ons moes. Ongelukkig is daar een virus in die omgeving en kan mense nou maar kwaad wees, maar dit is nou maar hoe dit is. Ons is baie hard seer en jammer daar. So, ons het op die oomlik ook ons africhting span. Ek weet nie of mense name mag noem, ek sien in die media noem hulle wel name, maar ons africhters is, ons hoofafrichter, achterlijn africhter, ons logistieke bestuurder en ons fiksheidsafrichter is nog 
uitweens COVID, en ek weet nie, Sjaal, of daar vir oog nog gevallen of iets naar voren getree het nie. So, Daniel, dit is my bijdra op die stadium, ek sal graag vraag beantwoord later. Dankie, meneer Verstaar. Um, die tafel is aan oop, as daar enige vraag is vir Sjaal of vir um, meneer Verstaar. Meneer Versters, Skiesman, Karl Fabian, um, wat, is die, wat is die antwoord op hierdie COVID-goeders? Want um, ek denk die, jy, jy, jy loop by die postbezand, tel jy COVID op. Is het nie ook beter om die, om, die, om die toernooi vir een week of vir twee weke uit te stel en daarna maar weer begin stokvat nie? Want ek meen, baie wedstrijde gaan gekanseleer word in die volgende paar weke. Ja, Karl, ek, ek denk jy het een baie sterk punt weet Ek het gesien die Leppards SVD-wedstrijd is ook gekanseleer een week of wat gelede. Ons weet op die OP het eindelijk met de klapspan gespeel, want hulle hele groep was geaffecteerd en het baie slecht verloor het goed begin. Ek weet nie wat die oplossing is nie. Ons, ons kyk na isolatie, ons het nou ons spelers uh, geself isoleer nou tot volgende maandag. En hulle mag nie eindelijk in contact kom en sikke dinge nie, so dat ons maandag hulle dan weer kan toets om te kyk wie is nou weer gezond en gereed vir die Puma wedstrijd vrijdag aand. So, ek weet nie, dit is baie moeilik, ek sien self in die springbokspan was daar twee gevalle en hulle het nou weer begin oefen, maar hulle, hulle was gevaccineer, ons nie, so ek, ek, meen, ek weet nie of die oplossing nie daak is om allemaal dan die proces te sit van vaccinering nie, maar ek weet nie, ons is nog nie daar nie, die springbokke is wel daar dier, maar ek weet nie hoe die provinciale spanne nie, ook maar nie, hy kan inval daar by die 50s en 60s nie. Van ons spelers is al amper daar, die ouder omschrippie. <laughs> nee, ek en Karl, dit is een moeilik hier. So, um, you know, apart from totally losing any point, or getting any points from this game that should have been played last night, what are the other implications? Because you have got the luxury of only having to play next week Friday again, but fitness can drop drastically in 10 days, or so that these guys aren't really able to train to the in- intensity that one would expect them to. Morgan, yeah, yeah. that's a concern. I think that's Charles' uh, platform to talk. Charles, please. Yeah, uh, Morgan, that's obviously the concern for us at the moment. Uh, we had a couple of the warm-up games that we were supposed to play uh, got cancelled uh, because of the other teams that had COVID. Um, so we were a bit underdone going into the into the Griqua game. They obviously played the week before um, they had the game against the Sharks. Um, so you know we basically had one game now, and it would have been great to play to play on Wednesday, um, so that we would have had two games under our belt going into the into the Puma game. Um, so that that is a it's a major concern for us. Um, Obviously, safety comes first. So we sent out a program uh, to the players today, uh, a running program that they have got to do individually, um, you know, so that there's no close contact when we get back on, on, on Monday. Um, but it is, uh, it is a big concern for us. Um, that's, you know, I think last year when we played um, in, the, in the Pro 14, uh, you know, we, we just won the Curry Cup um, and those European teams traveled to South Africa after a preseason. Um, and we have obviously had all the games in the Curry Cup and, you know, we beat them by 60 points, uh, all the big, the big teams, Munster, Ulster, that came over here. So it just shows again that, you know, you can do whatever you do in your preseason. Um, it's, it stays, the intensity of a, of a, of a match is, is difficult to replicate uh, during training. Uh, and you only get that after playing a couple of games. Sjaal, dit is nog een rukkie, maar gaan jy as voorraad jy heet tegen volgende vrijdag? <laughs> <laughs> Johan, um, daar is gelukkig gesal na ouwens wat het. So, so Skalk is terug, um, ons het uh, Maties uh, sy loskop is op pad hierna toe. Um, Chucky het sy return to play protocol gedoen van COVID en Marnes sal volgende maandag sal hy raag wees. Um, Die vastkop situasie is die moeilike ene. Um, gelukkig volgende vrijdag is dan 10 dae wat, wat Arno sy geïsoleer het. 
So, jy weet, denk as is die enigste vastkop in die groep op die oomlik wat ons nog het. So, um, as Arnos, as, as hy sal terugwees van die isolatie, dan sal ons definitief, sal ons een voorraad hebben kan speel. Ja. So, die is begin is daardig, ons sêker terugkom, ek denk om Merel daar aan geraak. Um, ek het net al getel hier so dier ons, dier die lijst van, van ons uh, squad. In 18 ouwens was unavailable as een vol van COVID en um, beserings. Um, jy weet waarvan, ons het eindelijk verlede week maar met die heel nieuwe Luz trio gespeel. Um, dus gewoonlik en die junior Pocomela as een pad terug. Um, Oupa is nog uit. Um, Jean Rai Rudolf. So dit is maar, jy weet, ouwens wat bol carries en goed vir jou gee, het, het ons, ek denk, gesikkel meer. Um, so die ouwens is allemaal volgende week, is hulle allemaal ready to go. Sjaal, um, now you've mentioned the numbers of your squad, but, you know, we're looking at a guy like George Grenier probably coming back or going to be reporting mm-hmm. on Monday. So does this open the door for the youngsters? Um, of course, we want Marcel to be fit. For some youngsters to get some game time and show what they can do. And even if need be, look at the Schimlers and um, Ixias for backup. Yeah, I think, Morgan, that's where we are at the moment. You know, uh, Last week, uh, there's a couple of oak that, Oaks that pitched up there that had one training session with us and then played on, on Saturday. Um, the whole bench, uh, it was it was just uh, the whole bench with debuts. So it definitely opens up the door, but, you know, it's so important uh, in these competitions that the experience factor, um, you've got to have that. You've, you know, you've got to have a 75% uh, settled team. And then if you bring in, two or three guys that shouldn't change a lot. But, you know, when, you, when you're making 10 changes for a game, uh, it obviously takes time. You know, it's always been the story at the Free State. Every year you lose the players that you lose uh, to other unions. So we're used to bringing guys through, but it does take them a year or two, uh, you know, to really excel. So you probably can't expect these Oaks to, to perform um, you know, after a couple of training sessions with us. So it takes time, but luckily uh, we're used to it. So we know how to handle that situation, but it, it definitely opens up opportunities uh, for them. And I think there's a couple of guys already that, you know, that, that's played a warm-up game and a game for us that, that really looks mature in that position. Michelle, if I can add to that, experience showed that you need about three to six games for one player to fit into a team, you know, to start to understand the uh, processes, the calls, etc. But for a full team to settle down for one after one training session and play Greek was that have played for a season as a team, it's a challenge. People say I make excuses and I say no, it's not. It's just facts that I want to give. We not we in, we we the cheaters. We understand to get hidings, to get negativities. We fight through those things. But it's just facts that, that, can talk, can, that can show you the challenges that we had to face and still have to face. The next week against Pumas, we will now play them after we haven't played for 10 days or practice. Then there's isolation, the guys. So it's tough times. But I think, Shal, uh, we will make no excuses. We will go out guns blazing and play. That, that is the approach, yes. Um, Morgan, if I can just add to what Ronald said earlier about the, um, you know, the whole situation with the vaccines is, you know, we actually had a chat about it this morning on a call. And, it, you know, we feel that, that it's actually an unfair competition that four of the teams uh, got vaccinated and three of the teams playing in the competition with probably the, the smaller squads um, aren't vaccinated. So the chances of of the other three unions uh, probably having to isolate players are bigger than the bigger ones um, that that all got the vaccines already. So, no, it's it's uh, it's not a great situation uh, for us at the moment. And what Harold said about the the fifty one hour uh, prior to the to the game being played, um, you've got to declare whether your guys have tested positive or not for corona. Um, but the protocol is 48 hours after you can only test. So that meant by yesterday, two o'clock, we had to declare whether we were able to play or not. Um, but 
you are only allowed to, or actually by three o'clock we have to declare but the, you can only do the test at three o'clock so it doesn't really make sense um and going into august we're gonna have uh, games wednesday saturday wednesday saturday uh you know so it's it's going to be a quick turnaround um which is obviously going to put pressure on the squad Uh, yeah, absolutely. And you, you mentioned other vaccinations, but people also tend, because I, I, I generally don't like doing that, but I've seen what people have been saying about this. And people also tend to forget that early in the year, last year, a couple of these other games had to be cancelled because of positive cases with the big four unions. So you guys are really put in a tough spot now. Yeah, I mean, uh, last year we travelled to uh, to the Lions uh, for that game. We just beat the Pumas and we beat the Bulls. Um, a couple of guys, it was their last games that they had to play. We went to Joburg and they cancelled and there were no repercussions for that. So obviously this year, if you cancel, then you lose the points. Um, whereas in Super Rugby and the comp they just played now, the Rainbow Cup, South Africa, uh, if you cancel, you know, there was, there was no uh, repercussions for that. So uh, yeah, it's a it's a it's a tough it's a tough system at the moment. I think, Shaul, just to add to that, the and you said it, but with the Lions game in Joburg, yeah, they were the host unions, the host union. <laughs> they cancelled the game. So if the current regulations were in place at that time, we would have got uh, four points, and that would have taken us through to the semi-finals of the Curry Cup, no problem. Now it stands around. Now if the host union cancel it, the host union sacrifice uh, is the force. And the visiting team like the Bulls gets it. So it's the other way around. The pity, that's, well, that's how it is. So uh, I think it's to avoid what happened in the unlock or what was that uh, competition called. To avoid that the host union sit and wait till an hour before the match and then cancel it. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's tough times, guys. Uh, this is not easy. Well, Matty, um, if I might just ask another one, um, and I'm surely it's it's easier said than done, but I'm sure that you guys would have learned some lessons through this whole uh, debacle over the last few days, just to make things a little bit more efficient going forward. Yes, Morgan. Uh, you know, life is uh, is ever changing, and you you learn your lessons as you go through life. I'm now at the later phase of my life and I've learned a bit, but you still go through the difficult issues that you've never experienced in your life. This is a difficult one. I, don't, I think even Saru, Grikos and us, we were a bit caught in the middle of this funny one uh, that we play on a Wednesday, but you test on a Monday or should you test on a Tuesday? You can't test on a Tuesday because you need to release your names of your teams on the Monday, etc. and so on. So we've learned because we will again play on a Sunday and then play on a Wednesday. So when will you now test? We play Sunday, two days from Sunday is Tuesday. But you have to in, inform the team that you play on Wednesday about the fitness of your team on Monday. So you, you, what must you do now? So it's difficult there. So you can test your team on Monday. If there's a problem, you can only then, I don't know, release it on a Friday. It's difficult. So we will ask Saru for a, a, a sort of a directive on this issue. But I think the other thing is, Morgan and gents and ladies, I think people, I, I try to explain the challenges that Free State have experienced over the past six months. And once again, it's not to put excuses on the table, but it's facts that I have to bring to the attention of people. During the Curry Cup, our head coach and director of rugby, Avi Suri got a uh, he's not a virus, but a, uh, a sickness, and he was in hospital. He couldn't come to Bloom. It was his first year in. So we had to make plans and keep uh, Franco in the fold and the team, and we won the Curry Cup. So I always could have been in the fold to win the Curry Cup if, if the same team had played and so on. Then we started the Pro 16, and we really played well. We were on our way to a semi-final of a, a playoffs, and we could have played it into the semis of Pro Rugby. Fantastic. I mean... But then they stopped it because of COVID. And it wasn't a month or what later when they decided to get out of Super Rugby 
We left Super Rugby two years back or four years back, opened the door in Pro 16, Pro 14. People said it will never work because you play in, in December, so it's too hot and it's too cold there and so on. It, will, no, it won't work. Then we moved in there, and, and, and but now, so, now they say it's the best competition for, for us, for South Africa, to play in. But we're out there as well. Okay, then we're out. And then some of our players had a clause in their contracts to say if they're not in Pro 14, they can leave our field. <clears throat> and they did. And 11 top players left. And uh, But after that, we started to recontract players and regroup a bit. The problem was that all the top players in South Africa, even abroad, was fixed in contracts now. So we had to shop around and see where's a player that we can bring in that will be released or so on. But slowly but surely we got the team together. But, but bear in mind, those players came from overseas, from other unions, from SIT, from Shimla, from all over the show. And they haven't been in a fold where they had a pre-season training program properly. Now suddenly we get injuries, soft tissue injuries, etc., and so on. And we were just getting better and ready to play better rugby. Uh, and then the COVID kicked in again. So uh, and now today I get the news that we will not play on a Saturday, but we'll play on Sundays. So we'll play the Pumas on a Sunday and the Wednesday we play whenever I think the Western Province. That Sunday we will play the Sharks, and the next Sunday we will play the Lions. The Wednesday, and then that. So it's it, we're in for a difficult phase in the uh, in the history of Free State Rugby, but we manage it. You need to manage your sponsors, your supporters. I see the uh, the uh, Facebook reaction on me and Arvis and everybody, but uh, people must try to. I don't know people. I, I just want to say the facts. It, it's I don't know why, but we're going through a tough time. But it happens to any any union. I mean, I remember the Bulls were down and out years back. They lost their sponsors. It was the Northern Transvaal Rugby Union. They folded and became the Bulls Rugby Union to regroup. I mean, it happened now with uh, Ipi. They were the Spears, then the Kings, and now they're the Elephants. They've gone through that process. And I mean, even Western Province, if I read the newspapers correctly, they're in a tough spot as well. The Lions have gone through difficult times and so on and so on. So we must just hang on in there. But I think we must put all those issues behind us and move forward. And we know that moving forward will bring new obstacles and challenges. Maybe these things make us stronger. Let's hope. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Verstaar. Our time's about to run out. I want to thank everyone for your time and participation. I'll send a recording to, to everyone um, who requested it. Thank you, everyone. If there's any other questions, call me and of Ornell and, and Randy. Charlie, yes, I'll if you can call me anything, I'll appreciate it, Charlie. Good luck. Good luck. Yes, Good luck. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Good luck. God bless. Stay safe. Yep.